Okay, uh, what I'm going to do in this um, demonstration is I'm going to show you how that I do in Adobe Premiere Pro CC um, audio um, denoising um, as a rule now. Uh, and this is because I found a significant problem with doing it the old way. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how I used to do it and how I'm now doing it and explain the problems I was facing and how I got round it. So um, what you're looking at here is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC um, and you're looking at my workspace and you can see here we've got the um, the timeline down here and I've got the whole video laid out already chopped up and uh, set ready to go but I've got some little issues with the sound on it um, if I play that de rapprocher finalement les besoins uh... you can probably hear a hiss in the background and that is um, an issue uh, we unite what we want nice smooth audio now um, what I was getting was uh, doing it the traditional way and, and this is I'll just show you how I was doing it um, so what I would go and do is I would go into audio effects and I would go into uh, sorry uh, the easier way is just to search for it so denoise and drag the denoiser across and pop it over the clip the audio portion of the clip and just drop it there okay so it's now sitting on that clip so if we double click that and click the effects we can actually see denoiser here okay so open up the denoiser, select individual par parameters and reduction and I found that my optimum was round about 10.7 for this video so 10.7 decibels and that was uh, the limit of the the repair so what I then did from there was I copied that uh, selected the next one along uh, paste the attri attributes, uh, make sure that denoiser is checked, click it, do that again, do that again, and you've now denoised the whole of the video. Uh, and what that was doing was applying the denoise to all of uh, those four individual clips. So that was what I thought was the job done. However, what I found in playing this back was for the first two seconds of each clip, the noise would still be present and it would generally fade away after about two seconds and then be free of noise. And this would then happen again here, two seconds of noise and then no noise and again here and again here. So people were picking up on this coming and going of the noise. So I needed to control this um, problem and uh, I wanted to get knock it on the head once and for all. Uh, so the first thing that I did, um, well, first thing I'll need to do is I'll need to back out of these um, changes um, so I can undo and it goes, undo, just check that. And it's gone. Undo. Undo. I'll just double check these. Gone. Uh, denoiser hasn't gone there, so I'm going to click there and then just press delete, and it's gone. Okay, so I've now not got, not got any noise correction on those. It's back to how it was. So the new way of doing it is actually. Um, going up into the source uh, viewer here and scrolling along to the audio track mixer. Now what you can see here is a panel with a lot of drop downs per channel. So at the moment, or per track, we're actually only using track one, so we're only relevant in this particular one here. So you've got controls left, right, and master volume up and down. But what we need to concern us with is these drop downs so if you click that little drop down there uh, you can then run down to noise reduction and then click denoiser you can then right click that and choose edit scroll down to here or move down to here and just click in there and just enter minus 
<coughs> space and then close it <coughs> and what you'll see is that the uh, the denoiser is now showing a minus 10.7 value but the beauty of that is that is across the whole track now if um, you, you might you might say well hang on the 10.7 value is right across the track but this one here doesn't need 10.7 then you can actually go in uh, to the individual one and um, do it this way by dragging across another denoiser and reducing it even further or or increasing it if you don't need as much so um, in this particular case all of these tracks and all of these clips are the same value so I'm confident that my 10.7 blanket across the lot is what's going to do the job so what I now get uh, when playing that back Je, les challenges que Orange rencontre sont les challenges de toutes ces grosses entreprises de télécommunications. Aujourd'hui, on doit être capable de répondre au plus vite. Is there is no hiss in the background, and I'm not distracting the voice element in any way that is noticeable. So, um, very pleased with that uh, development. Um, it is much um, easier to do as well, especially if you forget to do your noise reduction at the beginning where you've got your um, you know say you've got your 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 whole video um, and you just pull across the audio if you were to do your audio at that point um, this way by pulling it across then you've only got one clip and, and that's the best time to do it, is to sort your audio at the very beginning. But sometimes I forget to do these things and I end up with it all done. And it means that you've got to do, doing it this way, pulling it across from here. You have to do it per clip. So, and that introduces this two second sort of like fade in of the effect on each clip, which was coming up as being a, a problem. So doing it, using the audio track mixer by using the track level based denoiser far better covers the whole track and gets you an even no fading in nonsense so that's it thanks for listening